Hi, Siobhan. How did you enjoy your facial? It was really good. So, I've got a quick color look for you to apply today. Great. And this is the Mary Kay Compact, which we call it a face in a case because it's got your uh, blusher in there. And this is, can also be used as an eyeshadow as well as a bit of a highlighter across your face. And you've got your lipstick all in a neat compact with the application brush, brushes that you can use as well. Right. And you can carry it around, slip it into your bag. What do you think of that? It's so uh, The makeup range that we have is all mineral, mineral uh, based. So it glides onto the skin and it just melts into the skin and it's really good for giving a very natural sort of finish. With. Before we apply any of the makeup, and I'm going to teach you how to do it, yourself because obviously you want to be able to do this look tomorrow without me here. Yeah. What we're going to do is we're just going to do some touch-ups and take, uh, have a look at underneath your eyes. I'm just um, going to show you how to do that. This is the Mary Kay uh, highlighter pen and what it does is it takes shadows out of the face and I'm going to do one side so I can show you where to put it. So just look up for me. Put a little bit more. Close your eye. And just have a look in the mirror and see where I put that. Right. Okay? Yeah. And then you can literally just take your finger and pat it in, and then I'm going to let you do the other side. Can you see a difference between the two sides at all? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like shadow, isn't it? It's just taking that shadow out. Yeah. When we take the shadows out of our face, when you're applying color, it just lifts the face up rather than dragging it down. If you've got dark shadows in your eye, you've got eyeshadow, everything starts dropping down. When you take the shadows out, it brightens the whole face. You can also use it right around the corners of your nose, like that. So I'm just going to give you this, and you can go ahead and have a play on the other side and pat it on wherever you've got shadows in the face. You can do the other eye. So under here, just where you've got the, the darkest bit, and in the shadow, yeah, in the shadows in the corners of the eye. That's it. You can use the brush, but sometimes when you pat it on with the brush, it's easier just to pat it in with your finger. Uh huh. And then. That's it. What do you think? It's much better, isn't it? And then, have you ever used a primer before? No. This is for a nice base to put across your eyelids so that your eyeshadow, it extends the wear of your eyeshadow. Right. With the eye primer, you can just pat your, your, your finger in that and literally just spread it across. Have a look at me. That's it. Just spread it across your eyelid. A little concealer here as well. And we're going to try a couple different colors. See which one is yours. And a concealer can be used to, if you have um, any particular areas that you want a little bit more color on. You can just dot a little bit of concealer. It's it's still very light, but it just gives a little bit more cover and consistency if you've got a particular stubble and blemish that's come up. I'm just going to show you, I'm going to test out this particular one. And I'm just going to show you, I'm going to pop a little bit right here. Tiny, tiniest little blemish. And just have a look and see how it just looks. Now we've got the shadows out of your face, we're ready for the colour. And we come back to the palette here. Now I've got um, the applicators um, straight in here, the ones that you can use to carry around. And what what you do, this is our um, Mary Kay highlighter, but it, it's because it's mineral based, it can be used anywhere on the face. I particularly like to use it as an eyeshadow, but you're swirling the two colours together. So literally, swish, tap it on. And I'm going to do one eye, so just close your eye. And I'm literally just taking that from lash to brow. You don't have to think about any particular application with this. It's a quick one-off color lash to brow. And can you feel the pressure? With mineral powder, it's very, very fine. So you press it into the skin first and then sweep it across. And then once it sticks, it stays very, very well.
how's that application? Disney, it is easy to just go straight on. So I just up to about here. Yeah, literally, lash to brow. You can take it, it depends on your eye shape and on, on, on your particular eye. You can take it all the way up underneath your eye as well. It's just really how high you want to go with that particular one. It's a very easy color, very wearable color when you, when you uh, mix the two together. That's lovely. Then we're going to zhuzh it up a bit with some eyeliner. Do you wear eyeliner? I do, yeah. And have you um, experimented with different colors or are you a black girl? No, I just tend to use black. I think because we're, we're looking at a pretty natural um, quick day look, I think we're going to try its Mary Kate Deep Brown. So it's a little bit softer than black because we're kind of going for a natural look. And our, our eyeliners are particularly easy to use. You don't have to sharpen them. You literally just have to twist them so they're ready to go. No sharpening involved. And they're very, very creamy as well. They just glide across the skin so it makes application easy. You don't get any jagged edges <laughs> pulling or dragging the skin. Now I'm going to do one side of your eye so you can have a, a, a feel and then we'll look and see what I'm doing. And I'm just going very, very, very close in short strokes. Can you feel? Very, very, very close to the lash line. Have a look at me. Can you see how close to the lash line I am? You're almost going right in between the lashes. So you can put a soft layer on and then go back over it and do some more and build up to the desired consistency. Oh, yeah. Do you want to have a go? Let me put this in here so you can do that. And you can put a little bit more on the outer edges. <laughs> okay. And do you want to try a little bit underneath as well? So just very, very close to the lash line. Just to define those eyes, but not maybe about three quarters of the way over, and that's it. <laughs> How do you find that application? It's really easy. Just glide on. And if you were, we're doing a light day look, but if you were going into evening, you could deepen that line mm -hmm. on the top and yeah, make it more dramatic, or you could keep it really, really light um, during the day. Um, uh, following on the lines that we used a primer for your foundation, we used a primer on your eyeshadow, and this is the Mary Kay Lip Primer. It's kind of a, it has two different functions. One, it's a nice base or primer across your lips to put a nice base and a nice smooth base for lipstick to go on. And it also can be used once you have your lipstick on as an invisible liner to seal it all in, to stop your lipstick from spreading um, and your lip gloss, as well as uh, keeping it nice and smooth around that lip. So what I want you to do is literally, I just want you to apply this straight onto your lips as a base. How's that feel? So free. We're going to try Mary Kay Paradise Pink. Doesn't that sound nice? It sounds lovely, yes. I'm just going to pop a little bit down there. And I'm going to give you. Now, obviously, if you had your own lipstick, you just apply it straight from, from the tube. Yeah. Today, I'm going to give you a lip brush to apply it with. And really, when you apply your own lipstick, it, the, the, it tends, you tend to do one half of the top lip and the other half, and then do the bottom lip. But when you're applying with your own, you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever works. Then, remember what I said about the lip primer? It can be used to uh, as an invisible liner to seal it all in. Do you want to just run that around the edges of your lips? Just as if you were putting lip, that's it, and it just seals it all in. This particular brush is the Mary Kay Strawberry Cream. The one important thing to do is make sure that your lipstick and your blush are in the same color family. So as we've got Paradise Pink, Strawberry Cream is along the same lines. Um, so we should be absolutely fine on, on the color match here. So the brush is actually shaped so you can go around the contour <laughs> of your cheek kind of in 
in circular motion. Can have a look and see. What do you think of that? And you can go ahead and try the other side. Just matching. It's just circular motion just underneath the cheekbone and then into the elbow of the cheek. And the brush kind of fits along that side. Like that? Well, yeah, like that. And then you can meld it in to the intensity that you want. And what you want to do is just be careful that your blush isn't going any further forward than the center of the eye. About from there. You don't want the flushed cheek in here. You want it to. Can you see how that lifts your face? Yeah, yeah, it's lovely. You happy with that color? Yeah. It matches the lips. And it actually brings more of the pink out in the eyeshadow, I think, as well. Mary Kate Ultimate Black Mascara. And this is our, our um, full on, it gives the, the uh, thickest lashes in that. I'm going to give you. Um, a mascara wand and uh, let you apply it yourself and a lot of the times what happens with mascara is having too much on the brush so when a mascara is new you tend to get a lot on the brush and if you just tap a little bit off the end it'll stop you from getting too much on your lashes you want to put one or two coats on but not a big <laughs> full on coat in one go. And you literally just brush that through your lashes. The secret to full on lashes is to do one coat and then do an extra coat, particularly on the outer corner of the lashes. And then underneath, you can just br lightly brush um, with the tips. You, using the tip of the mascara sometimes work on the edge. So, that is your basic yeah, quick day look. What do you think? It's lovely, yeah. yeah. It's not what I'd usually go for, but it's really nice. Do you like yeah. it? Yeah. No, it's not perfect. Yeah. No, it's not bad. No, it's not bad.